Hello, and welcome to the series of our guideline videos for healthcare professionals. In this video, we are going to discuss the significance of experience letter for various medical licensing exams in Gulf region, especially in United Arab Emirates, UAE, such as DHA, MOH, DOH, SCFHS, OMSB and other health regulatory authorities, its correct format, and how to avoid common mistakes. Consequences of fake experience letter. How to deal with issues related to your previous employer, and how to make data flow appeal to address disputes. This is Dr. Muhammad from Interface Medical Education, and I will try to answer all these queries in detail. So, keep watching this video till the end. I am sure that, after watching this complete video, you will be able to understand many things related to experience letter, especially its significance during data flow process. If you are new to this data flow process, then we will suggest you to first watch our related guideline video. We have provided the link here, as well as in the description section. Before starting this video, we would also like to invite you to watch many of our videos, made for healthcare professionals. I will request you guys to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, to enjoy more of such informative videos in future, and of course, if you like this video then, do not hesitate to hit the like button, and send us your valuable comments. So, let's get started now. An experience letter, which is also known as work experience certificate, or employment certificate, is an official document issued by employer, upon completion of employee's jobbing tenure. Experience letter is mandatory for many of the Gulf countries, while applying as healthcare professional during data flow PSV process. This document gives your future employer additional insight, as to why you would be a good fit for the position they're hiring for. It basically serves as proof of the individual's work experience, job responsibilities, and duration of employment. The experience letter is typically printed on the company's official letterhead, and may bear the company's stamp or seal for authenticity. It is an important document for individuals to demonstrate their work experience, and can be used for job applications, further education, or other professional purposes. It should not be older than six months duration. It's important to note that the format and content of an experience letter may vary between health facilities. Some may have specific templates for issuing experience letter. If you require an experience letter, it's recommended to reach out to your employer or HR department to inquire about their process and requirements for obtaining one. Although, the design and content of an experience letter may be different, depending upon the health facility you work with, but it should typically include the following information, like which include your full name, passport number, designation you worked at, employment dates, and issue date of the letter. Please make sure that the name mentioned on the experience letter should be the same as of your passport and other documents. The name, address, and contact information of the employer or health facility issuing the certificate should be clearly mentioned on this letter. Employee's job title or designation should be clearly mentioned. This can significantly affect assigning of your new title or designation in new organization. For example, a candidate with dental assistant title will certainly lower his chances for seeking general dentist role in new setup because, data flow only accepts your title mentioned in your experience letter. If needed, it should contain details regarding the responsibilities during your employment. The start and end dates of your employment with the health facility should be clearly mentioned. A statement acknowledging the employee's conduct and performance during his employment can also give your future employer a detailed insight. Any notable skills, achievements, or contributions made by the employee during his tenure can also be beneficial for your future employer. The contact details of the person issuing the certificate, such as his name, job title, and contact number or email address, as well as signature of the employer and authorized seal of the organization, that could be printed in the background of the letterhead, or could be placed at any other part of the document. This typically starts when your degree or diploma result is announced, an internship or house job is completed. Because internships, house job, part-time jobs, volunteer work, and any research projects during your academic years are considered as valuable, but only regarded as training instead of your experience. The consequences of providing a fake experience letter in Gulf countries, especially in the UAE, can be severe, and may result in legal, professional, and reputational repercussions. The UAE takes employment matters seriously, 
and has regulations in place to ensure the authenticity and accuracy of job-related documents. Presenting a fraudulent experience letter can be considered a criminal offense in the UAE. It may be classified as document forgery or fraud, which can lead to legal action, fines, and even imprisonment if convicted. The severity of the consequences depends upon the specific circumstances and the laws of the UAE or other Gulf states. If an employer discovers that an employee has provided a fake experience letter, they may terminate the individual's employment immediately. Employers rely on accurate information to make hiring decisions, and misrepresenting one's qualifications or experience can be seen as a breach of trust. Being caught providing a fake experience letter can have a lasting negative impact on your professional reputation. It can be challenging to regain the trust of employers and colleagues, making it difficult to secure future job opportunities in Gulf countries, especially in UAE. Word may spread within professional networks, tarnishing your reputation and limiting your career prospects. The Gulf countries, especially UAE has strict visa and immigration regulations. Providing false information, including fake experience letters, during the visa application process can result in visa rejection or revocation. This can lead to deportation, being banned from re-entering the country, and potential difficulties in obtaining visas for other countries in the future. Individuals who engage in fraudulent activities or are found to provide fake documents may be blacklisted by the Gulf countries or UAE authorities. This means they will be barred from working in the Gulf countries or UAE and could face difficulties in finding employment or conducting business in these countries in future. It is crucial to be honest and transparent about your qualifications and experience when seeking employment in the UAE or any other country. Falsifying documents can have severe consequences and can negatively impact your career prospects. If you have a valid experience letter, but your previous employer is not verifying or responding to data flow requests, or previous employer is not issuing the experience letter at all, then you should consider directly contacting Dataflow to resolve this discrepancy. If you have a joining letter and bank statement or salary information that can verify your employment, you can provide these documents to Dataflow to help resolve the discrepancy. If you have multiple work experience that you would like to add to your data flow process, you should first try to resolve the discrepancy for your first employment before adding additional information. If your working experience is from UAE, then according to UAE labor law, the employer or the health facility must provide you an experience certificate or end of service certificate mentioned there in the area of your experience or practices, period of contracting, and full salary. If the employer refuses, you can raise a labor complaint before the Ministry of Labor even after the termination of the contract within one year. It is important to note that data flow discrepancies can potentially affect your ability to work in almost all Gulf countries or obtain certain visas, so it is important to address any discrepancies as soon as possible. This is the appeal process provided by Dataflow Group to address disputes regarding the verification of your provided documents. This process usually occurs when you disagree with a discrepancy or unable to verify result generated by Dataflow Group and are certain that the rejected document, that could be your experience letter, is valid and authentic, then you can appeal to re-verify the original document submitted in your initial application. You can request an appeal one time only within 180 calendar days of the Dataflow report issued date only. But for MOH only, Appeal request can only be made within 90 days of the data flow report issue date. If you want to provide a new document to be verified which was not included in your original application, then you will need to provide this document under the additional document section and pay the allocated fee as per the health regulator you are applying for. Follow data flows instructions to formally submit your appeal. This typically involves providing a written statement explaining the grounds for your appeal, addressing the concerns raised during the initial verification and attaching any additional supporting evidence. To appeal, kindly visit this website. And enter your data flow case number and registered passport number. Click on File and Appeal, submit your request by uploading the supporting document or by adding information. If you are not eligible for an appeal, then a message will appear on your screen with a reason for ineligibility. If you still need clarity or have any concerns regarding the eligibility of your appeal submission, you can contact Dataflow support team for assistance by raising a support ticket at their official website. 
Once the review is complete, Dataflow will communicate the outcome of your appeal. If the appeal is successful, your documents will be verified. However, if the appeal is rejected, Dataflow's decision will be final, and the non-verification status may remain unchanged. That's all from us. Hopefully this video will be beneficial for you and will clarify many of your questions related to experience letter, especially during Dataflow verification process for DHA, MOH, DOH, SCFHS, OMSB or other healthcare regulators in Gulf region. Do not forget to watch many of our videos made for healthcare professionals. Hopefully, you may have liked this video, then, do not forget to hit the like button. Share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Have a good day.